Here's an interesting little option. This is a pointer to a function. Now, since any address in memory can be pointed to, and our code obviously takes up uh, memory space, it sits out there in, in the code segments, we can get a pointer to a function. And then we usually wind up passing those pointers to even to the operating system and to other parts of our program to be called. This uh, is extremely useful for something called a callback hook. Those are used uh, a lot in network security in Linux and other places where you want to give a pointer to your own created function to the operating system. Uh, for example, here we're defining a simple function called foo. This is our normal definition, a lot of statements in there. Here we are now going to create a something called a void pointer. It doesn't point to a character or an int or anything like that. It's undefined. It's a void pointer. It's defined as not pointing to any of those types because we're not going to increment it or do any math or anything like that. This is the clean way to do it. In old C code, pre-ANSI standard, this would have been a char or a character pointer. Now we call it a void pointer. So here's a void star f pointer, and that's set equal to foo. And since we know that foo is the name of a function declared up here and defined up here, foo is the name or is the address of that function, just like the name of an array is the address of the zeroth element. Foo by itself is the address of the first executable byte of this function. So now that's inside f pointer. If we want to call foo by that address, we have to use the parens around star f pointer. Otherwise, we would get the contents of the address, and that's not what we want. We want to make the function call of the piece of code that is sitting inside f pointer. So we covered in parens to get the uh, order of, of execution correct, and the parens here would have parameters in them if they were necessary to, to operate on foo. But that's a callback hook or a pointer to a function. Uh, I don't really see that you're going to have a great deal of use for that right now. Uh, you've got to get into some pretty uh, advanced C programming before you're going to start throwing around the uh, addresses of functions that you write. Uh, maybe we'll save that for a, a later video series. But I at least wanted you to see that such a thing as a pointer to a function exists, uh, because if you start digging around in, uh, in Linux or other advanced code, you will see such a thing, and I want you to have uh, some idea what it is.